Welcome everyone to a short uh, rebuttal of those who think that Heidegger believes himself to be the prophet of being, that he is in fact the first to have received the genuine message of being with a capital B, and that he is as such an anti-metaphysical thinker. In fact, Heidegger's thinking is not antithetical at all, because that would mean that this thinking feeds itself from that which it opposes, which ultimately, of course, was Nietzsche's mistake when it came, for example, and especially to Christianity. Heidegger is a well-trained and educated metaphysician on a level that many of his commentators will never reach, and especially including the fact that he knew, of course, not only German, which is one of the main philosophical languages, but that he also knew Latin and ancient Greek, and had read enough of Aristotle, as he says himself, if you haven't read Aristotle for five years at least, then you shouldn't read me. Now, he's often considered an anti-metaphysical thinker, as someone who wants to deconstruct or maybe even destroy metaphysics. To be sure, Heidegger does say that the times of systems are over, yet Plato and Aristotle never wrote systems. When he speaks of system philosophy, he means Hegel's philosophy predominantly. The attempt to corroborate metaphysics in the science of logic and in an encyclopedic manner, those days have gone. This is not to say that metaphysics per se is simply over, but he does say that metaphysics has come to its end. In fact, metaphysics has found a certain completion or fulfillment, or worse, it, the metaphysical dimension has collapsed. It no longer addresses us. Hegel himself, by the way, points this out, which is why he has to raise logic to metaphysics. The mere organon of logic becomes metaphysics with Hegel. And though what Heidegger sees is that technology now takes what's left, the remnants of metaphysics, and implements its implements its its some of its thought forms in its technic technical reality. Pla Platonic forms, for example, serve <clears throat> as a blueprint for uh, instantiating uh, through techniques metaphysics in quote-unquote reality. Now Heidegger is not a deconstructivist and we should not understand his notion of de uh, destruction as deconstruction. Destruction is a hermeneutical rereading, which is laid out in section 6 of Being a Time, a hermeneutical rereading of the tradition and an appreciation of what metaphysics has been able to think but also what it has forgotten to think. Now, what metaphysics has forgotten, maintains Heidegger, is to think absence, yes, negativity, yes, but not that's not quite the right terms. We're looking for a concealment or non-availability, withdrawal. That's at the very edge of what metaphysics can think, can assume according to Heidegger. That's not to say that metaphysics has purposely forgotten being, or that he's the first one to, for whom this has been revealed. Instead, uh, he sees something in the texts that the texts are already addressing. For example, in the on, ha, on, ens, qua, ens, as the scholastics uh, translate Aristotle, that was hiding, in some sense, in plain sight. So what is the task now is to rethink, think again, through those tidings of being, Seinsgeschichte, 
which we should not think of as the history of being because that would place it in the past instead there are tidings of being that we need to heed need to listen to in order to achieve what it is that philosophy has always tried to achieve which is why philosophy bursts on the scene in the first place so sane phenomena to save and also maybe even safeguard the phenomena the also the ur phenomena the primordial phenomena which are under threat and which are especially under threat to be completely crowded out by the technocratic uh, exclusivity of gestell which turns everything that is and allowed to be into a standing reserve and in fact metaphysics to heidegger has become nihilistic and empty to a certain degree because it has no longer access to its proper dimension the metaphysician suffers from the death of god just as much as does the modern liberal whose morality is christian or the humanist or the the new atheist but whose morality is no longer grounded in anything ontological this regrounding or new grounding is what heidegger is after but it goes even deeper than that what heidegger refers to as the ereignis which is only pure poorly translated as event or uh, even a nouning is not a, the greatest translation ereignis is the realm as heidegger says himself it's untranslatable as a word as is logos and as is the tao but ereignis is the realm in which being and the human being meet in which they come together and also not come together and ereignis as he points out in uh, one of the later published works we could think of as coming into its coming into its own disappearing withdrawing in coming to be uh, or absence in presence but which that would not be a, a very appropriate way of putting it because that's directed towards as you can hear probably towards things or beings but instead withdrawal in appearance or withdrawal in coming into one's own so as there is a coming into one's own or into its own there is withdrawal that is how we have to think of our agnes and heidegger sees that metaphysics has always tried to address this and has always attempted to articulate just this so he wants or wishes to get to this thinking of her eigenness precisely through thinking again through metaphysics if you were if you were merely antithetical towards metaphysics or thought of it as something uh that is um well that is in and of itself uh, misguided etc he would not have any reference from which to start he continuously speaks of a zuspiel in the contributions it's an entire fugue of the contributions is zuspiel which means playing forth the tradition continues to play forth to us that which has remained unthought and which we have to take seriously so for example in a footnote in the contributions heidegger says that we have to take seriously Kant's mentioning of the abyss that the unconditional is the proper abyss for human reason we have to take that would be an example of the unthought this is what the tradition does not pick up on we are now in the responsibility to pick to pick up upon why again in order to be able to save the phenomena which is again the deep philosophical project from the beginning against sophistry so far from trying to deconstruct metaphysics tearing it all apart etc what destruction tries to do or tries to achieve is by through a rereading again and to get to the source itself to the source that speaks through the texts and that can still speak to us without however hmm, uh, merely regurgitating what is already seemingly known and understood 
nor at the same time, nor becoming a great destroyer of the tradition, nor trying uh, to reinvent the wheel either. Instead, it's in some sense already there. It must just be reappropriated in such a way that we can also unverwandeln. No? We, we can also transform, be transformed ourselves while also transforming the tradition so that it is not a stale uh, repetition or continuation. So what I would recommend anyone who's interested in this, I would recommend you read Heidegger's lecture course on the essence of truth from Wesen der Wahrheit, which he gave in 1930 and 1931 in Freiburg. And I would also invite you, if you want to understand Heidegger um, a bit more deeply, you can enroll in my course on Heidegger on the question of being and death. It is precisely through death that we gain an understanding of, and this is why death resurfaces all the time, not just in being in time, you find that death is mentioned throughout uh, in Heidegger's philosophy until his own death. He continues to struggle and and uh, think through death, precisely because death is that element of non-availability, of finitude, of radical withdrawal and absence and loss that Heidegger is after also in his way of understanding being. Now, again, there are different dispensations of being. They're different. Being means presence in Heidegger. So, for example, Gestell. Gestell and framing technology is the current prevalent mode of presence, thanks to which beings appear in a certain way as Bestand, as a standing resource. This is seemingly exclusive, and certainly Gestell and framing techniques wants to be exclusive, but isn't, because being is multidimensional. That's to say there are always several dimensions at stake that are not parallel, but there are uh, sfumato or they're diffused um, with one another interspersed and it's and this has to do again to come back to the ereignis with c coming into its own withdrawing so it could also be that heidegger actually sees the gestell for what it is precisely because it is already shifting it's already um, actually losing power in a moment, of course, where it seems that it's infinitely powerful. So the attempt is to, to harbor from the wreckage, as it were, as metaphysics becomes operationalized in cybernetics and in technology, which then afterwards can be spiritualized etc no but the attempt is to bring to the fore that which is still worthy of being thought again so that we can gain access again to what is and even just gain an understanding for the need of the question of what is which is as you may know a deeply metaphysical question if we want to assume that there is indeed a text by Aristotle that is called Metataphysica, which, as you may know, he did not himself name as such. He, there was no title to this collection of essays or lectures. Instead, it, this was named so by a, an Alexandrian librarian. And uh, because it just so happened that Metataphysica, so after the Taphysica, after the physics, this is where this collection of essays was placed. So anyways, to come back um, to maybe briefly to the course again, the course itself covers being in time via Eignis technology and language, always in light of being and death. And it gives you a deep insight into Heidegger's thinking path. The link to enroll is in the description of this video. Now the lecture course on the essence of truth is only highly is also extremely crucial to understand the bridge from being in time to 
uh, the uh, thinking of the Ereignis to what you find in the contributions. It's here that Heidegger goes beyond the transcendental exist existential ontology of Dasein and moves towards already the Ereignis through what through a radicalization of aletheia, of truth as unconcealment or rather as unconcealed concealment as the simultaneity of unconcealment and concealment. So again, Heidegger does not deconstruct metaphysics as I point out what it got wrong, but instead he points to what it forgets in a certain way, but necessarily forgets because it forgets time. And it forgets time not because of a certain mistake in its argumentation, but because of the way in which Plato and Aristotle have to respond to the earlier thinkers, Parmenides and Heraclitus, for example, for the most part, while they're trying to save the phenomena, having to account for becoming and being, and hence leaping over time in the, in the uh, <clears throat> precise moments where time perhaps should have come more to the front. But at the same time, Heidegger is also a thinker of the modern age, and it could just as well be that time is now for us a pressing issue, and hence we have to read backwards if we want to be based in anything. We have to read backwards these texts so that we gain again an understanding of those texts in light of time being as presence and the Ereignis as the realm where the human being and being meet. <clears throat> and this would also perhaps show you that again, technology is not exclusive and not exclusively powerful. It may be seemingly exclusive in our age, but it is itself a finite occurrence that as it comes into its own, it begins to wane and disappear. <clears throat> so you can see how this feeds into the epochs of being, which are not just about you know various understandings of being, but in fact really various ways of being making a presence for beings. So what is it metaphysics quote unquote forgets? It's concealment. So again, this is not an accusation against metaphysics and it's not a supposed failure of metaphysics, but intense here, but what the intention is here is to show that metaphysics at its very limit has hence always been concerned with concealment, withdrawal, and the non-available. And it is upon us readers and students of the tidings of what the tradition has in its deep memory still in store for us to think through what is at the very limit of what they're trying to say. So here's what Heidegger himself says in Time and Being, a talk that he gave late in his life. There he says, the oblivion of being could sublate itself with the awakening to the Ereignis. Yet concealment, which belongs to metaphysics as its limit, must be of the Ereignis. So the oblivion of being, the, the forgetting of being, the forgetting of being could be overcome if concealment is taken into consideration, which is to say we take into consideration the Ereignis, which would demand an entirely different rereading or reappropriation of the tradition so that it projects forward a way of accessing the world, saving the phenomena so that the collapsed metaphysical dimension is not just continuously exhausted or even further exploited by the operations of techniques, for example, um, in AI and all kinds of pretty um, insane, let's say, uh, 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 ideas that AI is God, etc. That that's one example where you can see perhaps this in a concrete manner manifesting. Uh, the, how technics does in the exhaustion of metaphysics completely try to exploit that collapse 
of that dimension and bring in its operations to make operational through, for example, a general intelligence, what it is, the, 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 what the divine is. The divine itself is not available to us. It is not a general intelligence. So I will leave it at that. Read on the essence of truth. You're also invited again to uh, enroll in my course and delve deeper into Heidegger. And before you do so, I'd just like to thank you for listening and see you very soon.